So for those of you that are creating your own prescriptions on the farm, we're going to show you how to access the prescription creator powered by Agrian in the John Deere Operations Center. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the field that we want to create a prescription for. From there, it's going to give us a few different options or a, a brief overview of that field. But we want to create prescriptions, so we're going to click on the little I or the information button. And up in the top right corner, you're going to have a drop down menu next to the X. Selecting that drop down menu, you will then have Field Analyzer or Prescription Creator by Agrian. We're going to select Prescription Creator. It's then going to take you out to a different website and it's going to tell you to sign in with My John Deere. Click the big sign in button. So from there, after it does its automatic login into Agrian through MyJohnDeere.com, it's going to bring you to this page. From there, you're going to select your organization. In this case, this is the organization that I'm signed into. It's going to access all of your information through MyJohnDeere.com. So what we'll be able to do from there is we'll be able to select the client, the farm, and the field, and then it's going to ask us if we want to do a boundary. Well, we have an exterior boundary made on this field, so we'll create it with utilizing that as a field boundary. From there, what we're able to do is down on the bottom, it's going to ask us what source we want to use in order to access a prescription or to create a prescription. We're going to select a field operation. What we want to do is we want to utilize soybean 2014 yield map in order to create this prescription. So then we're going to click next. From there, it's going to bring us to this page where it's automatically going to generate a prescription based off of your yield information. Now, if you want to add the number of zones, we can add or decrease the number of zones in the field. We can also adjust our breakpoints for the different levels of zones. So after we have that all done, we can update the map. It's going to adjust it, and you'll see we, we change the breakpoints of a few of those zones. So then we'll hit Next. From there, it's going to bring us into all of our different zones. So we want to change this, and we're going to create a seeding prescription. So from the application drop-down, we're going to select seeding. From there, we're going to select what we want to seed with. Well, in this case, let's use variety 1. We click Add, and that's going to give us this column right here. So with this, we are able to enter in what population we want in all of those different areas. So what we would do is we would just go through and add all of our different populations. After we've done that, we can click Save. So now it tells me that a prescription was successfully created and we can close this tab. So going up to the top, we will close the tab. So now that we've created the prescription, in order to view that prescription, I'll show you where that's going to be. So before, I told you about the My Jobs feature and how it's kind of a setup file or, or a work order creator. What it does is it automatically creates a job. So you'll notice here, we just created seating. And we click on that, and that's going to be the prescription that we just created. Now you'll notice I've in the past made a couple other prescriptions, but we'll click on this soybean seeding prescription. So you'll notice this bar down on the bottom in black showed up. If we go to the pencil, we can click the edit button, and it's going to show our overview of what this job is. We can view the preview of that prescription and it's going to show us exactly how our map is set up. So you'll notice blue is a population of 30,000. You'll notice purple is 32,000. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense if we have a soybean prescription, but this is just for demonstration purposes.
So now that we've created those prescriptions and we want to utilize those on the farm, we have two different options. We can either click here to learn how to create those setup files in the setup builder, or we can click here if we've already created those setup files and learn how to transfer all these setup files into the machine, either by wireless data transfer or traditionally through a USB flash drive. <laughs> so first thing we'll go into is the setup builder. So the same place we were adding all of our equipment, we're going to go in and this is where we're going to create our setup files. Our setup files are going to be just like what we did with Apex, except for now it's all going to be done in the John Deere Operation Center. So the first thing you'll see is it's going to ask you, start a new file or start from previous file. So similar to what Apex had is what we called templates, you're going to have something very similar to that by selecting start from previous. So you'll be able to see all of the previous files that you've created before. In this case, we're going to start from fresh and start a new file. So we'll click get started. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to have our list of products, our list of equipment, our list of fields, and then if we utilize the operator names, we're going to have all of our operators as well. So what I want to do is I want to select variety. We're going to use both varieties, so I want to select all products. Go to my equipment and we would select all of our pieces of equipment. So all we need for this case is the 8370R and our 1770 NT planter. Then we're going to go over to fields. What we're going to do with fields is we're going to select all fields because we want all of our fields to be in that display. From there, if we're using operators, we can select an operator. If we don't use operators, don't worry about it. You do not have to select it. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile name. Just like we did in Apex, we need to give it a profile name so we know what file to be looking for. In this case, we're going to call this Setup 2016. We are then going to create this file. So now that we have our setup file created, we've given it a profile name, what we're going to do is we're going to create the file. Once you create the file, it's going to bring it into My Files. But before we show you how to transfer these files in or out, what we can do now is we can either move forward on sending files to the machine or we can teach you how to create prescriptions utilizing that prescription creator powered by Agrium. Select one of them. So now, sending files, what we're going to do is we see we have our file set up here. Now it's not maybe not named exactly like we wanted it to be named because this is a, a demo site that I'm using, but we'll, we'll find our setup file, we'll select it here, and if we have an, a prescription, we will also select that. So it shows us here what type of file it is. If it's documentation, if it's a setup file, or if it's a prescription, we're able to see exactly what the file is. So from there, what we can do is if we are using John Deere wireless data transfer, we can send the file wirelessly right to the machine. Select send files to machine. We'll select the machines in our list that we want them to be sent to. Now remember, only your JD Link wireless data transfer machine, capable machines will show up in this list. So we would select the tractor and then we would select send. Or if we are utilizing the traditional way of transferring data through a USB flash drive, we would select download file. 
What that's going to do is it's going to give the option to download as a zip file to put on a flash drive or it's going to give us the option to download to my John Deere data manager. Now I talked about John Deere, my John Deere data manager previously in the dot 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 or more tab. What you would do is you would download that and that's going to give you a desktop icon that looks like this. What that's going to do is that's going to give you the ability to traditionally transfer setup data from your computer out to your tractors. So we would select download and send to my John Deere data manager. Now by doing that, it's going to tell us or ask us to save the file. We're going to click OK. And in this scenario, I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but my so my downloads come up in the top right corner. If you're using any other web browser, they'll show up in other places. I know some of them show up on the bottom, but like I said, in this case, they're going to show up right here in the top right. So from there, we're going to go into the My John Deere Data Manager, and that's going to walk us through getting those setup files out. So now that we've learned how to send those files, those setup files or prescriptions out to our machines, what we have the ability to do is we can click here to learn how to view our machines and direct our equipment around the farm, or we can select here to learn how to edit our data. Maybe we made a mistake during planting or harvest. There's a few things we can do to clean that data up. Come on.